how dinosaur footprints are made. Millions of years ago, there was some mud, maybe near a river or at the edge of a sea, and a dinosaur walked past, its foot pushing down into the mud. The foot lifted off as the dinosaur strolls onward, leaving a footprint. Then, probably a short time later, sand, maybe moved by the wind or in water, gets deposited over our footprint, infilling it and burying it. Then, over a long time, many millions of years, the sand turns to sandstone and the mud turns to mudstone. Where the two layers of rock meet, here, is possibly a plane of weakness, so allows the two layers to be separated, like this, giving us two separate features, a mould, or mould, and a cast. That's amazing! This is the famous dinosaur tracks at Keats Quarry in southern England, formed by sauropod dinosaurs gathering at the shoreline of a large shallow lagoon around 140 million years ago. Their incredible trackways preserved in the fossil rich mudstones and sandstones, showing how they strolled across the area. Their footprints are preserved as moulds, the sauropod's foot making a mould as it walked through. These footprint casts in the Isle of Wight in southern England were made over 125 million years ago by ornithopods, such as the Iguanodon, walking across rivers and lakes when floodwaters left sand infilling the dinosaur footprint. This cast, for example, was formed as the dinosaur left its footprint, the overlying sand infilled the mould, the cast was made, and this has then been flipped over. So we are looking at the underside of the dinosaur's foot. Imagine the size of the dinosaur that made this footprint. This cast is large too, the three-toed footprint clear to envisage. But have a look at the other feature too. Is that a concretion or maybe a sauropod footprint that the three-toed dinosaur has stood upon? And how tall is the owner of this footprint? This cast is also impressive. It is very large in size. It may be with an initial sauropod footprint, this overlain by a footprint of a three-toed dinosaur, which is itself overlain by another footprint of a three-toed dinosaur too. Maybe the dinosaurs used each other's footprints to walk along the muddy shores. We will never know. Please do watch our video exploring the sauropod trackways at Keats Quarry. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!